you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey youtube what's up manji here i'm back with another video and in this video we're going to compare the picture quality of xiaomi mi a2 versus the google pixel 2. on screen you have the camera specs for both these smartphones feel free to pause it at this point and have a look at the specs and please remember this is only a picture comparison there are no videos now you might come back at me and say hey manji aren't you comparing apples to oranges here because the pixel 2 costs what like 700 bucks the xiaomi mi a2 is like 250 bucks well you are correct we are comparing apples to oranges but what triggered this comparison is a tweet on screen right now you have a tweet from manu kumar jain who is Xiaomi's VP and Managing Director in India. The tweet mentions a picture and says that many reviewers are saying that pictures taken by the Xiaomi Mi A2 are similar and in brackets, if not better than the Google Pixel 1 plus 6 and iPhone X. It doesn't say Google Pixel 2, but I only have a Google Pixel 2 to compare. So that's what we're going to do in this video. At the end of the video, I'll go ahead and show you the picture which was tweeted along with this tweet. Let's start with the rear camera, broad daylight picture, Pixel 2 on the left, Xiaomi Mi A2 on the right. Great HDR from both the smartphones over here. But if you ask me, I was present at that moment which of these pictures is more natural or what i saw with my naked eyes i'll go with the google pixel 2. next picture taken with the rear camera a picture of my friend spider-man again the google pixel 2 focused on the spider-man you can see all the legs of the dude the xiaomi mi a2 couldn't focus on the spider-man cannot see any of the legs instead it was focusing on the electrical connections at the bottom middle of the picture that's where the Mi A2 was focusing. I tried my best, tried it at least five times. The Mi A2 wouldn't focus on Spider-Man at all. Another shot, broad daylight, the rims and the calipers. If you have a look at the Xiaomi Mi A2 picture, you'll see that, you know, the rims are more brighter. The color red on the caliper is more brighter as compared to that on the Google Pixel 2. But if you see this rim and caliper in real life, you'll realize that again the Google Pixel 2 is more closer to reality or what I call more natural colors. Next picture again great HDR from both the cameras the reds, the blues, the whites, the greens, the little bit of yellows, the browns all awesome all great. Same point over here as well the picture from the Google Pixel 2 is more closer to reality or what you saw with the naked eye. We take the same picture and if we zoom in on the tree, you'll see that you have more detail on the Google Pixel 2. The bark of the tree is more prominent and you can see the lines better on the Google Pixel 2. The Xiaomi Mi A2 has lost most of the detail on the bark of the tree. Even if you have a look at the shadows, the shadows are more darker on the Google Pixel 2 as compared to the Xiaomi Mi A2 again, as I said before. The Pixel 2 is more closer to what you saw with the naked eye. Another picture from the rear camera. Again, great HDR from both the cameras, the sunlight, the greens, the reds, the browns, everything is pretty good. But same point over here as well. The Mi A2 camera is overexposing the shots. The specific spot wasn't as bright as you are seeing it on the Xiaomi Mi A2. Another picture at the same spot. You will say that the Xiaomi Mi A2 has taken a better picture because it is more brighter, the colors are coming up right in your face. But again, the Google Pixel 2 took a better picture in my opinion because it is, like I've said multiple times in this video review already, it is more closer to reality. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the flower in this picture. And as you can see, you have much more prominent detail on the Google Pixel 2. The Xiaomi Mi A2 has lost all the detail and the reason for that is it's overexposing the shots. Time for some portrait shots from the rear cameras. Say hello to my friend Billy the Puppet. Pretty sure you remember him from the movie Saw. Here again, 
The background on the Xiaomi Mi A2 looks great, looks awesome. If you are a fan of the colors popping up right into your face, then the Xiaomi Mi A2 might be the device for you. But if you are a fan of natural colors, natural looking pictures, you want to capture the moments which you saw with your naked eye as close to reality as possible, then the Google Pixel 2 is the camera for you. Also, if you have a look at the edges of the hair, the Xiaomi Mi A2 loses edge detection. The Google Pixel 2 has almost perfect edge detection. Another picture, another portrait with my friend Darth Maul from Star Wars. Shout out to the Star Wars fans. Even in this picture, if you have a look at the sky, the whites and the blue are clearly oversaturated on the Xiaomi Mi A2. The Google Pixel 2, best picture in my humble opinion. Let's move over to the front camera. Say hello to my friend Lord Vader this time. If you have a look at the picture taken by the Xiaomi Mi A2, you will see that it appears that Lord Vader and Mr. Maul have a halo surrounding their head. This is an indoor shot. There wasn't any flash, but the Xiaomi Mi A2 is trying to overexpose everything which is why it appears that they had a halo around their head notice the television in this picture let's go ahead and zoom in on that television for the google pixel 2 you can clearly see that it has a grayish border going around the television that grayish border is nowhere to be seen in the xiaomi mi a2 another picture taken with the front cameras the red on mr mall's face the color tone is consistent in the Google Pixel 2. If you have a look at the same picture on the Xiaomi Mi A2, the color tone is not consistent. On the right, the red is almost whitish red. And on the left of the face, it is a different shade of red. Now, this is the same picture. I zoomed in on the speaker, the Logitech speaker in the background right behind my chicken friend. So on the Google Pixel 2, you can clearly read the words THX. On the Xiaomi Mi A2, that detail is lost. Remember, the Xiaomi Mi A2 has a 20 megapixel selfie camera. Moving over to front portrait shots. Again, a picture of my friend Mr. Mall. On the Google Pixel 2, you can clearly see that the television, my chicken friend, has been blurred out properly. On the Xiaomi Mi A2, you can still see the eye of my chicken friend. It wasn't blurred out. Time for another front portrait shot with my friend Billy from Saw. You can see that the Xiaomi Mi A2 removed the background totally. You have a blue sky, some white clouds, which are clearly visible on the Google Pixel 2 selfie portrait shot. The Xiaomi Mi A2 overexposing the pictures removed that background. Here's another front portrait selfie with my friend Billy. And this one is to show you the edge detection now. If you see the edge detection on the hair on the Google Pixel 2 picture, pretty great, awesome picture. The Xiaomi Mi A2 is struggling with edge detection on the hair. You can clearly see the blue sky between some of those hair, whereas the Google Pixel 2 has an almost perfect edge detection. Same goes for the background. You don't know with the Xiaomi Mi A2 what was there in the background, whether it was a bright sunny day or a dark cloudy day. With the Google Pixel 2, you know it was a bright sunny day. So this here is a picture taken from the front camera of the Xiaomi Mi A2 in a dark room. Now, the Google Pixel 2 doesn't have a front flash. So I didn't take a picture with the Google Pixel 2. Nonetheless, a great picture from the Xiaomi Mi A2 front camera. Moving over to night pictures. This picture was taken in a dark room flash set to auto on both the cameras and the flash came on if you have a look at the picture taken by the google pixel 2 on the left it's like more mellowed down colors the xiaomi mi a2 colors look much better and this is one picture which i personally like better on the xiaomi mi a2 than on the google pixel 2. next picture taken without a flash but as you can see it was pretty dark now if you have a look at the picture taken by the Xiaomi Mi A2 and you have a look at the building on the left of the picture, you'll see that the building is kind of blurry. And the same building on the Google Pixel 2 picture is not as 
blurry you can still if you zoom in you'll be able to see the details going with the colors as well the colors on the google pixel 2 are more natural and what i saw with the naked eye if you zoom in on the street sign in this picture you will see that the google pixel 2 captured more detail you can clearly read that the street sign says stop the xiaomi mi a2 the alphabets are all blurred up another picture from the rear camera a dark night and the flash did come on now if you see the picture from the xiaomi mi a2 you can clearly see that there's too much light on the face the google pixel 2 took a better picture again in my opinion because it is more natural the black and brown shades on my white t-shirt are more prominent on the google pixel 2 as compared to the xiaomi mi a2 another shot in the night this was a well lit area and the flash did come on on both the pixel 2 and the xiaomi mi a2 now if you have a look at the picture from the xiaomi mi a2 there's just too much noise in the picture you cannot figure out the sky the trees there's just too much noise the same picture on the google pixel 2 you can clearly see the sky the noise as compared to the xiaomi mi a2 is non-existent i would say much more clarity in the picture one last final picture in the dark on the google pixel 2 picture you can clearly see the handicap sign that sign is totally lost on the xiaomi mi a2 if you have a look at my shadow towards the right of the sign my shadow is more prominent on the google pixel 2 the xiaomi mi a2 my shadow is not as prominent now if you zoom in on the sign on the google pixel 2 you can clearly read what the sign says on the xiaomi mi a2 you cannot read what the sign says now this picture was taken like almost not more than 10 feet away from this sign so clearly the xiaomi mi a2 lost all the detail because it's trying to overexpose the shots another thing if you try to zoom in on the on the railing on the right of the picture on the google pixel 2 you can clearly see the mesh on that railing on the xiaomi mi a2 that is completely lost you cannot tell what was there so that's it with my pictures youtube let's have a look at the picture which mr manu kumar jain tweeted out along with his tweet so here on screen right now you have the picture which manu kumar jain tweeted i can clearly see the details and the overexposed background even in this picture taken by the xiaomi mi a2 so all i can say right now is that the reviewers who are saying that pictures taken by the xiaomi mi a2 are similar if not better than the google pixel oneplus 6 and iphone x are wrong so what's the bottom line with this comparison well for 250 bucks the xiaomi mi a2 does take some pretty good shots if they can somehow fix the overexposure problem this camera will take some pretty good shots that's it for this video youtube likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you